Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Legacy Evolution Armada Universe Optimus Prime. So this is a huge Commander Class style figure. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to open him up live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're going to have a detailed look at him in all of these modes, so there's quite a few to go through there. We are of course going to do some comparisons with some other Commander Class figures. Unfortunately I don't have an original Armada Optimus Prime but I've also got other prime figures that have been released quite recently so we can see how he looks and displays compared to them as well now before we open this up i need to remind anybody who's not subscribed to this channel if they'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now please and also to thank in demand toys in the uk because that's where i purchased this from and as you can see they got him out to me nice quickly and safely now again before we open it up let's have a look at this beautiful box art it's lovely the artwork on these is sensational so i think if you are a mint and seal collector now you know they boxes are beautiful we've got actual product shot there of the alternate modes now i believe this works so if i hold that close enough you should be able to scan that for yourself on this particular side we've got a mid transformation artwork we've got of course main combined i suppose super mode we've got cab and trailer cab that's battle station and indeed cab and then of course the usual legacy evolution artwork that we're used to on the sides now if you're new to this channel um when i do my reviews i mean i've obviously seen images of this particular figure however i've not seen anybody else's review so all of my first impressions which you're going to see in a second are exactly that and i've got no idea which mode this guy's going to be uh, come packaged in i'm hoping that he's going to be in robot mode but it doesn't look like it i've got a sneaky suspicion that's a little bit like uh, motor master and he's indeed going to be in yeah there we go he's going to be in his alternate mode and again same as the motor master let's be honest there's a lot a lot of wasted space there but this looks big it looks really nice to be honest but again what i'm going to need to do so just to keep the length of the video down is set him free from that and come right back to you so then i've set him free from the packaging and he's coming he's sort of in his trailer mode but it's not exactly how it looks on the back of the box so i've had to have a look at the instructions to be honest um and i don't normally like to do that i say i like to do everything straight off the cuff and first impressions but obviously i'm looking at this and there's no way on this planet that we can attach that to there so what we've got here is we've also got his gun and it's also got these little blasters on the side what we need to do is we need to take these off and attach these to the side of the truck like smokestacks so as i say this is exactly as it comes out of the package so everything we're doing now is things that you're going to need to do as well if you want to basically get yours going so right what we need to do now um, is we need to separate this and this is really really stiff i had to use um something really small and thin just to be able to get enough i suppose leeway in there to separate this part so and it's you can see it's still really stiff now this is going to fold out fantastic right out to the side like so and then we're going to repeat the same process on this side but it really does need quite a lot of venom um not venom a little bit of welly to it so you may need something just to wedge it free from there once you've done that fold that over like so now you can see we've got a huge i suppose port there and we've got this this here again was folded up inside the box what you need to do is straighten this up like that it came in the box like that straighten it up fold this bit if it was over that side fold it over like so this will now then slot into that gap there like so and then you can see these tabs are also going to fit in to the bottom like so and then you've got a choice actually you can either put the gun on the roof or in any one of these tabs there or because there's a hole on that through there you can put the gun you'd have to open this up again on there if you put it on there though it's not going to be very noticeable wow look at that roll it's not going to be very noticeable when you attach it there and of course you're going to then fold these down as well so that is what your trailer should look like to be honest so you do have to adjust it you can't just take it straight out of the box it's not ready for you to go this is obviously what it looks like so i'm going to take this off here and then i'm going to go and have a quick look oh i'm going to pop it on the roof i think i mean but the beauty of this is you can see look how many excluding this look how many five millimeter ports there are on this so on the trailer alone you've got one either side three on the roof 
a couple on the back there the detail on this is beautiful by the way this is my first experience handling this figure and indeed any armada optimus prime figure i know this is different but it just looks really good the gold is really reflective it looks really nice um there's a different tone of grays on here so it's not all the same everything's tucked away to be honest i'm having a look at this now trying to look and think what's it going to be what's it going to turn into so that's quite clever that it's all done that with the cab i think you can pretty much unfortunately guess that they're going to be his fists so this is going to be the top half but let's be honest if you've got the trail on you're not seeing them fists so everything is um, covered up more than enough well you've already seen that the trailer i mean the cab rolls incredibly well there's more five millimeter ports either side of the shoulder there um it looks nice to be honest i mean again i can make out that that's the hands but to be fair that's about it i'm going to attach that there i'm going to pop that on there and then as i say because there's literally so many modes and so many different ways to display and i suppose have fun with him what we're going to do then let's have a quick look at the cab into robot mode next so here he is then in his cab mode quick apologies no transformation process on this video for the, all of the transformation processes to keep the length of the video down i'm going to upload them separately so if you want to see them you can watch them because i know some people really like to experience that first transformation process for themselves and also again because there is so many transformation parts to it you can just watch the bit that you want to see so this is just the cab and to be honest this is really nice. It's really chunky. It feels really robust. Um, the paint scheme and the paint apps on it are fantastic. This gold is really reflective. The translucent windows don't bother me. I think they're nice, to be honest. I know some people don't like it, but for me, it doesn't bother me. The head sculpt is great. You've got full articulation on it. It will go all the way around, as well as look up and down a little bit as well. Excuse the glare. That is literally reflecting off there. Now, what's interesting is the Matrix is here, which is great. Um, and you can actually pull this out. This, funnily enough, is exactly the same size um, as your normal Earthrise and everything else matrixes. Uh, but the only problem is you can see by his hands, they're not articulate. So he can't even grip it anyway. Um, I can't even get it out. Everything is so stiff at the moment. Um, let me see if it'll come out. Is that going to come? There we go. So you can see where that's going to attach. That's quite nice, actually, if we look at that. Yep. Uh, but then what you've got as well, and I don't know why, I don't know if it's an Easter egg for something, I'm not too sure. The thing which I learned about with the Unicron Trilogy is that everything just combined and had minicons and all that sort of stuff. But look at the detail on there. I just, I'm just wondering if it's going to be for something because it just seems that they've gone quite a lot of effort for just that. Whereas the Matrix obviously was in there. I've took it out um, and I suppose just to show you what I was talking about, there's the Netflix Prime. That is really reflective, isn't it? Um, let's open up his chest. Um, and again, you can, he says, trying to get these out. Wow, I'm having no luck whatsoever today. There we go. So again, same principle, same size hole. It will fit in and it will close up. If you wanted to do that, that's if you wanted to do it, if you were having a bit of fun, it will do that. But um, we might as well do some comparisons with this particular figure now while he's there. I'm just going to put this back because knowing my look, I will forget it, let's be honest. So that's going to go in there. So I know this is just the cab, and of course we know that these are different price points, but once again, this is just the cab. The giant blaster on him is huge. You see what I mean? He just gets this really, you just feel this, like, I suppose, chunky sort of, I don't even know how to describe it, just like stacked, chunky version of Optimus Prime. So I suppose to prove it, look, there is the Earthrise. This is the Legacy. So slightly taller, but all of these are a lot thinner. They're much, much thinner. They're nowhere near as, exactly that weird, they're nowhere near as chunky or indeed robust. He is even bigger than the Deluxe Hotshot, of course. Um, and he's even bigger, which you'd expect, than the Voyager class Starscream. Now, this one's going to be the interesting one. And of course, I'm going to do all of these again when we go into super mode. But he's not far off, <laughs> not far off at all, leader class Megs. And as I say, I will be bringing him back in later on. But that's to give you an idea of, I suppose, the figures that I would imagine that you guys are going to be displaying him with. Um, in this particular toy line and just because of course we've got to there's a g1 optimus prime i'm really sorry it's really nice to actually have a glare though um is reflecting onto you 
um let me just move him so let's have a look at the articulation on this and in fact the star saber sword will not be big enough for that it'll just be way too small uh so we'll take the gun out of his hands the hands do swivel but there's no articulation on the fingers uh they go the articulation is for the shoulders it looks a little odd but it will go all the way out to the side it will go all the way around there is a swivel underneath there there's a bicep flexion um, like so now there isn't a waist rotation and that looks to me because it looks like it's going to be doing some of the combining later so i don't think you'd snap it into about four pieces if you span that around there however there is a knee bend and it's scary because it's really really loud on a ratchet oh let me get it to work i just lift the skirt up let's lift the skirts up and fold this back as well just move the skirts ever so slightly because of course you won't be able to do the knees but it's really stiff and it really does make a lot of noise so you can pop these back down but when you do that see how it brings this apart which you don't really want it to do it does click back in to be fair but it just pops straight back out however because of that you get a mini ab crunch it's only small but you do actually get one um, and of course you've got ankle tilt and rock as well these i presume because we've just put them in his hands if you wanted to Yep, they do sort of double up there, or you can move them up a little bit higher, put them coming around your shoulders. Again, with all the blast effects and with everything that we've had released over the last few years, there's going to be some crazy combinations of things that you can do with these. So, yeah, so just make sure the skirts are a little bit loose. I thought I'd separate it, but perhaps I maybe hadn't, but it's still, still really tight on that knee. So you can see where these are tabbing in on the back there. Um, but there he is in the robot mode. So let's have a look at how he's going to look now with the base mode set up okay then so we're back and he's in the base mode now again the transformation process is separate loaded however what i've done is what i'm going to show you now i've uploaded a separate one because as you can see this is the mode that is there on the back of the box which is very in all honesty very very underwhelming but i've seen some fan modes on some images um, on the internet and i think you'll probably agree that it's much better so i'm going to spin the gun around like so and then going to turn it to face this way and then going to lift up what we've got here oh i'm knocking everything out of the way so this is of course where the feet were so if we lift this up we've got the strut from when we're in the base mode this now looks like a cannon and then when you've got of course these are going to be the toes later on i think they actually look a bit like guns now so you can i think if you turn it this way it just looks that bit better again if you're welcome obviously to completely disagree with me um i just think uh, base modes are quite weak as it is so if you can make things look a little bit better then they should be done so um, great fan modes um, on the internet for this um, and because then you see on the on the image there you've got um, let me get everything in the screen you've got them folded down sorry excuse the glare but because you put them there now they're like you know you can stand on them so if you were to take um armada optimus prime if you wanted to you could stand him on them particular foot plates you see which i think is much much better so that's the way that i'm going to go with it um just to again showcase it there's best that i can so these can be used as blasters even though they're just struts to support it when he's in the truck mode and again you can then attach the blaster on top of here any other blasters that you want to do uh, with regards to size um, it's not the biggest either these are these are giant compared to this they look really really big uh, i forgot to bring this guy in the first part but i'll bring him in on the next part but imagine putting siege jet fire there on the base it just wouldn't work it wouldn't work at all so um again this is, could be because they're going to allude to having some mini cons who knows because as far as i'm concerned and i'm sure you'll agree the mini cons are just uh they've got to be just retooled micromasters we've seen the one with hot shot already uh so with the base for this particular size these work really really well or even indeed the core class i've got a little core class optimus prime on there that doesn't go too badly to be honest you can pop these in you know one could be man in each gun on the side maybe trust me to pick one we've got huge toes he won't fit in but there you go he could be managing manning that gun you can't even see it he could be manning that gun on that side and vice versa but again with most things 
unless it's a Japanese generation one original is big powered the base modes don't really really work but I just wanted to show you it as part of the video and indeed show you the other version which isn't in the instructions so I hope you enjoyed looking at that now we're going to have a look at the super mode okay then for the final part of the video let's have a look at him in his super mode and although i've done this in the transformation process i'm going to show you in this part as well so take this little red tab lift this up and then what we're looking to do is to slot this part into that huge cutout there on the back and then you've got two red tabs which will fit over and into the top of his shoulders there just like so so with a bit of luck if we line this up like so this should slot into position nope that's just missed it let's try again it's typical on the other video it just went straight in now this one because i'm trying to do it it's not going in oh it has there you go perfect that's now going to come forward what we need to do then is push these in once these are pushed in that'll slot down bring his head up and then just tab everything into position so let me just readjust the camera and he's ready to go so there he is and he is to be honest looking a lot better than i thought he would i think the color scheme on him just works the golds on it it's, it's good that you've got the gold as i say as well as a bit of the yellow the gold is really popping hopefully you can see that it's reflecting just as much as the silver was in the other mode and he is a really big chunky figure as i say granted unfortunately you know he's not as big as your siege um jet fire but of course there's a little more to this you've got the extra couple of modes um you've probably got just a bit more playability with this guy to be honest but as far as commander classes go he is definitely right up there i was just thinking because he's at hand just to see how big he is compared to victory saber because victory saber is not that much bigger um and of course that was a completely different price range so you know he's not much smaller than victory saber which you can see there right let's have a look at him though and see what articulation we've got because the other crazy thing is now is that he's more articulate the bigger he is so the head sculpt you can't even see it it's so big the head sculpt is lovely it will spin all the way around it'll look up and down you can move these backwards and forwards as well uh, with regards to the articulation in the arms, they will go all the way out to the side on the ratchets, which you can see. They will, of course, come down. You can spin them all the way around that way. Um, you've got a swivel underneath the shoulder. You've, of course, got your bicep. You've got a wrist swivel. You've even got opening and closing fingers now, which is great. Uh, you, I'm pretty sure you're not going to have, no, you're not going to have a waist swivel because obviously I've just attached the cab to it. However, you've got huge amounts of articulation on the legs all the way out uh, with the hip skirts moved out the way again on ratchets all the way up big knee bends all of these ratcheting away clicking away a little scary to be honest because uh, obviously we're not used to all of our figures doing that i think maybe you could fold these up that might make it look a little bit better in honesty uh, but fully articulate you've got the ankle tilt and rock as well beautiful figure huge huge figure to be fair looks really really good uh so let's have a look at him compared to pretty much the armada figures that we've got so far he is towering more than head and shoulders above him he's absolutely massive you can just about make out a hot shot there starscream is obviously not going to get anywhere near him either um, just wondering whether they're going to take the opportunity and have him combine even more with people like Jetfire, with people like Overload, um, etc. But let's just bring out a few more of the figures that we've already seen him compared to. Just giant, isn't he? He really is massive compared to these um, particular figures. I'm just seeing if I've got anything else at hand to show you. So if I put a core class one up against him, again, just completely towers well above him. And of course, we've got a generation one optimus prime there um as well however i'm really enjoying this trip into the armada or unicorn trilogy universe because as i say um it's a big black hole for me but these figures are interesting they are fun um and there's loads you can do with it i haven't even popped his gun in there uh but of course these these are um blast effects compatible as well funnily enough well i've got victory sabers here let's put it in there you go so you can see that's going to work Ooh, as well uh, oh no i just popped that off as well so i'm just going to reattach that uh again the reason why i've kept that in is because if it happens to you 
it'll just reassure you that it's not too detrimental i just pushed slightly too hard to be aware of that guys not much more to say about him to be honest he's he's better than i thought he was i mean i've noticed that this is loose and this comes off as well i don't know exactly what that's for um i can't seem to find out i think you can actually take the label the autobot insignia off as well i'm not too sure no you can't it just felt loose uh but yeah so there's perhaps a lot of things in here that is potential for other figures who knows i can't wait to find out in the meantime definitely one of the figures of the year and again fully justifying his commander class price point and stature let me know what you think in the comments guys take care